Hi, Chanel. Long time no see. Now we want to share tutorial. Connect Arduino and Bluetooth thermal. Three part here. The materials is. 1. Arduino. 2. Module Bluetooth HCO5. 3. Bluetooth thermal. Step 1. We have to know address of Bluetooth thermal. And then we can using our smartphone to see address of Bluetooth. You can find it on setting and choose Bluetooth. Next step. Install Arduino with blank script. In this tutorial we use Arduino Uno. You can change whatever you want. Next you have to connect Arduino and module Bluetooth after install program. VCC, greater than 5 volts. GND, greater than GND. TX, greater than TX. RX, greater than RX. If you want setting Bluetooth HCO5 on at command mode. Bluetooth HCO5 goes into at mode. Then do the following parameter settings. At plus name gives Bluetooth name. Free, no special conditions. Just choose the name that is easy to recognize. At plus role. Bluetooth is set to work mode as master. At plus mode. Master Bluetooth connection is set to connect to a specific address. At plus bind, create a bond with a Bluetooth that has a specific address. In this case the parameter value that is filled in is the Bluetooth slave address. At plus UART, sets the baud rate, stop bits, and parity bits. The settings aside are 9600 bits per second baud rate, 1 stop bits, and no parity bits. Match with Bluetooth slave, if different, both Bluetooth, master, slave, can pair but cannot exchange data.
write on at plus bind equals address of Bluetooth thermal. In this case 0F02 18322326C. And when you want to use IT you have to restart module Bluetooth. Look the instruction after this one. Look the diagram and wire again. We use Adafruit Thermal Library for this tutorial. And Serial Software, Pin 9 for RX and Pin 8 for RX. We just try simple white on thermal printer. Many operation on printer may using or not. This simple test with interface is Bluetooth. After write the listing program, next step, comply and download on Arduino. Now this is the result. Fisser turn on the Bluetooth thermal. Wait for connection. After that restart the Arduino. Thank you for watching.